building a solid team. Now, especially for those of us who are already in the business or you're getting started in the business, what you're about to learn is going to be very helpful to the success of your business. Very helpful to the success of your business. Okay? So first of all, uh, to build a solid team, to build a very solid team, one of the first things you need to understand, which I call it step one, is first you need to understand the business we do. First, you need to understand the business we do. So now I'm going to be getting your feedback on this. I need an answer to this. Tell me, uh, if someone asks you, are we into networking? Is this networking? Is this network marketing? How many of you have gotten such questions? I'm very sure all of us have gotten that question. If you've done this business, even if you are new, you must have heard this question. Is, I, I, is this, are you guys into networking? Is this, is this network marketing? So what's your answer? What's your answer? Yes. What's your answer? Yes. What's your answer? Yes. What's your answer? Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good. Now, but is that the answer you give your, your prospects when they ask you for the first time? Is that the answer? Is that the answer you give your prospects when they ask you? I'm not asking you if we are into, I'm asking you if your prospects ask you, uh, is this, are you into networking? Is that the answer you give them? What's the answer you give them? Ah, uh, Engineer Kingsley or SAS, we are building business. We are speaking English. Okay, do you mean those marketing products? Okay, nice one. Okay, all right, so let's uh, see. If you said yes, you are correct. Yeah, if you told your, your prospect yes, you are correct. If you told somebody yes, you are correct. But if you still said no, you are still correct. Did you hear what I said? If you said no, you are still correct. Now, so I'm going to be explaining what I mean by that so that you understand. So first, let's understand the structure of our business. It's very important. So let's understand the structure of our business. First, you understand that in our business, we have the manufacturers of the products like DSM, Wade, uh, Nature's Way, Wada Global Nutrition, and others, okay? Companies that manufacture the products that are made available to us, okay? So we have the manufacturers. And then next, we have the marketing company. Okay, we have the marketing company, which is Alliance in Motion Global, AIM Global, or you can call it Empowered Consumerism, whichever name you call it. Okay, uh, EC, OBX, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's the marketing company. So the Alliance in Motion Global is the network marketing company. Do you understand? Alliance in Motion Global is the network marketing company. Are you following? So Alliance and Motion Global is the network marketing company. It's part of the structure of our business. It's part of the partnerships in our business. Then the third and final structure in our business is the distributors, the partners, the connectors, the NGO, C21FG, uh, peak aimers, uh, daily income stores, whatever group, okay, that is part of the distributorship. So we have those who become distributors. The moment we have the Diamond Project, the Amazon Project, La Buena Vida, C21FG, 1% uh, Crazy, whatever name, okay, the Global Project Development Group, whatever. Okay, whatever nomenclature that is being carried by any team or group under 
the distributorship of the marketing company Alliance in Motion Global. So why did I say if you are, if you said no, you are correct. And if you said yes, you are correct. The reason I said if you say no, you are correct is because if you signed up to this business, if you paid 69990 or whichever package you paid for, the moment you make the payment, I hope you know that the payment you made, you made goes to the marketing company. It does not go to Century 21 Freedom Group Limited. No, it goes to Alliance in Motion Global, Abuja, Enugu, whatever, Nigeria. The company, the marketing company. The reason is because they are the ones that makes the products available. So the moment you've made the payment, immediately you are automatically a distributor. You are automatically a distributor for the network marketing company, Alliance in Motion Global. That's the marketing company. Do you understand? But because you made the payment through our organization, Century 21 Freedom Group International, because you made the payment through our organization, Century 21 Freedom Group International, you are a partner in the non-governmental organization, Century 21 Freedom Group International. Okay, C21FG is a non-governmental initiative. Okay, it's not a political initiative. It is not a business initiative. It's a humanitarian initiative, a non-governmental initiative that has the vision just like a church is established. Oh, sorry about that. A call was... A call was intruding. Okay. So because of that, you are automatically... You are automatically a partner with C21FG. You are automatically a partner with C21FG. Uh, just give me a moment. Let me just... Okay, you're automatically a partner with C21FG. Very important. So what that means is that if someone is asking me, are we a network marketing company? No, C21FG is not a network marketing company. C21FG is a non-governmental initiative. Do you understand that? C21FG is a non-governmental initiative. C21FG is a group of individuals who have a neutral vision to achieve that will be achieved do you understand so we are not of ourselves a network marketing company we partner with a network marketing company that's the reason why if you said yes the reason you are yes you are it's a network marketing business is because we are distributors of a network marketing company therefore the business we do that pays us money is network marketing. So do you understand what I said? If you got that, please type understood. Type understood. Type understood. If you understood the explanation of why yes is correct and no is, is still correct, please type understood. Okay? So because you are a partner of, a, of an NGO, you are a partner with, uh, you are a consultant with an NGO, that's the reason why you are not a network marketer. But because you are also partnering with a network marketing company, you are also a marketer. So whether you said this this side or you said it the other side, you are correct because you represent both organizations. Do you understand? So I don't want you to be feeling like, ah, I lied to my people that I, this is not networking. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Okay? I don't want to. Both is correct. Absolutely correct. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's proceed. So what exactly is network marketing, right? So what exactly, what exactly is network marketing? So if we are involved in network marketing, what exactly is network marketing? Before I will give you an answer, I want you to type on the chat handle 
Let me get like three handle, three responses, okay? Put on the comment section, what do you understand by network marketing? What do you understand by network marketing? What do you understand? Okay. So what do you understand by network marketing? What do you understand by network marketing? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me see your responses. Is direct selling business, is group of individuals doing small, small things. What is network marketing? I want to get your response. Let me assume that you're still typing something. What do you understand by network marketing? It's a direct selling business from the manufacturer to the end user, okay? It's a modern way of moving photos from manufacturing to final consumers through word of mouth recommendations. Beautiful, okay, like that. Okay, it's a wealth creation business. Interesting, yes. Okay, let me, let me, all right, so let me just give a little understanding, okay, from the dictionary. Network marketing is a business model where distributors earn commissions and recruit people to build a business. They earn commissions, okay, they earn commissions and they recruit others to build a business. That's one. Another definition is network marketing is the practice of leveraging personal relationships to sell products or services. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Very important. Very, very important. Okay, good. So that is what network marketing is. That is exactly what network marketing is. Now, let me explain that to you. Just like someone uh, explained earlier, said earlier, look at it. Normally, a manufacturer manufactures a product. He moves the product to the national distributor of the product. The national distributor of the product moves the product to the wholesaler. Okay? The wholesaler moves it to a retail shop. And a customer goes to the retail shop and gets the item. Now, guess what? When the manufacturer manufactured the product, he pegged it at a price. Let's say, for instance, we're talking about a techno phone, for instance. Let's say the manufacturer pegs the techno phone at 100,000 naira. He sends it to the national distributor, and the national distributor buys it at 100,000 naira, but sells it to the wholesale shop at 120,000 naira. The wholesale shop bought it at 120,000, but sells it to the retail shop at 140,000. From 120, now sells it at 140. So it was 100 at the national distributor's level, moving to the wholesaler, he buys it at 120. Wholesaler sells it to the retailer at 140. Now, when the customer comes to buy the product, either of of course, he's going to add something. So it's going to be like he's add another 20,000. It becomes 160. So the techno phone, you come to buy it in the shop of the retailer as a customer. You buy it at 160,000 naira. Now, but imagine the 60,000 naira that was on top of the 100,000 naira of the product was added by these different persons. Are you following? Now, in network marketing, this money that is being distributed among all these people, from the national distributor down to the uh, wholesaler, down to the retail shop, and now the company brings all that money together, adds those money that would have been paid to all these national distributor, wholesaler, and retailer, gives it to the connector. 
So I went and I bought the techno phone and I loved the techno phone. And the techno manufacturer gave me an opportunity and said, if you connect any of your friends to buy this, we will pay you 60,000 Naira commission out of the 100,000 Naira. Are you seeing that? So he will get, the manufacturer of the techno phone will get his 100K, but will pay me my 60,000 Naira, which is the same 60,000 Naira he would have given to the national distributor, the wholesaler, and the retail shop. Do you understand how the money we make in this business comes? How network marketing actually pays? So they cut out all these middlemen and gives the money to one middleman, who is the connector, which is you and I. So that's the reason why someone bought uh, Ultravas of 1.3 million Naira and you were paid 200,000 Naira. Guess what? That 200,000 Naira that you collected it would have been shared. It would have been shared between the national uh, distributor to the wholesaler, to the retailer. They would have shared that 200K. But the company said, instead of us selling this item, which is uh, 1.2 million Naira worth of item, maybe let's say the original cost of that item, maybe I don't know how much it might be, but they have factored how much is the basic cost of that item. And they know how much is their commissions, how much is the profit and everything. And they said, we are going to share the rest to our connectors. Do you understand that? If that makes sense and you understand it better, type makes sense. 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 Type making sense. Type makes sense. Type any of the senses. Are we getting this? Are you getting it? Very good. Now, so that is exactly how the money you make comes about. That is exactly what network marketing is. And guess what? If this new customer also has a friend which he recruits to buy an item, ladies and gentlemen, the connector initially will be paid and be paid and paid again. Are we together? Very important. So the step one, if you want to build a solid team, is that you need to understand what we do. You need to understand what we do. Babe, check this girl. You need to understand what we do. Very important. Okay, now step two. The second step to build a solid team is recruit with intention. Recruit with intention. Are you following what I'm saying? Recruit with intention. Now, the moment you become a partner in the business, you have one big job to do. And that job is to show as many persons as possible what this business can do for them, what they can enjoy as partners in this business. That's the job you have to do. Your job is to have individuals become part of your business. And that process is called recruiting, sponsoring, signing up people, getting people involved in your business. So whatever you do, all the systems we have made available are made available so that you can recruit people, so that you can sponsor people in your business, so that you can have people who are joining your business. Now, when you go to recruit, you don't just recruit. You recruit with intention. Let me give you an example. In the book of the moons that we are studying, they gave some instances of, let's say, two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. 16 times two is 32. Do you see? Good. Three times three is nine. 
9 times 3, 18. 18 times 3 is what? I did not do more times table. I didn't finish times table class very, very well. But I graduated with, with first class. So you can see. No wonder they were paying me 27000 So three times nine, Abby, 27. Uh -huh. Oh, where was I? Okay, no. Three times three, nine. Nine times three. Oh, it's even 27. I say 18. You see? That's how we used to feel. It's that 27 times three, 81. Uh -huh. You see? That's why we used to carry calculator. But unfortunately, in school, they don't so allow you to use calculator in those basic mathematics. Why? Because calculator is expo. Can you imagine? Calculator that is meant to help your life. Hi! These people chef that year. You can't carry calculator. They should, you should cram this thing in your head when you can just press it and get answer and move on. And move on. Sorry, let me not focus on that. Okay. Did we get that? Okay. Now, so it's 81. Now, imagine what is going on here. 4 times 4, 16. Abi? Yeah, 4 times 4, 16. 16 times 4, 64. 64 times 4, 256. Can you see what is happening here? At the level of 2 times 2, by the time it got to the fourth level, by the time it got to the fourth level, it was 32. By the time it was three times three, by the time it got to the fourth level, it was 81, I think, right? By the time it got to four times four, by the time it got to the fourth level, it's 256. Can you see what is happening? By simply increasing your recruiting, by simply increasing your recruiting, you stand a better chance of building a solid team. Now look at what is happening here. From the book of the months that we've been reading, which is a 45 second napkin presentation by Don Fila, he said, when you want to recruit and you want to recruit leaders in your business, your goal is to have at least four to five leaders. I'm going to focus on four. I will work with four. But you should have four to five legs that you are building, you are focused on. And that leg, that leg, no jokes on that leg. No jokes on that leg. No jokes on that leg. Four to five legs. That's why we have four, four, four worksheets, five, five, five worksheets. Are you following me, guys? Yes. So recruit with intention. As you are starting the business, what it means is I am going to have four solid legs. I am going to have four solid legs. I'm going to have five solid legs. Don't be contented when you recruit one person and you now become an active partner. Don't be contented. Don't stop there. Your goal is to have four solid legs. Now, guess what? You will not be recruiting four or five people to have four or five solid legs. No. You will be recruiting 20 to 30 persons to have four or five solid legs. Did somebody hear what I just said? You would have recruited 20 to 30 persons for you to have four to five solid legs. Guess what? Sometimes even the 20 to 30 does not give you four to five solid legs. Yes. In my business, I have recruited over 60 persons in my business. But guess what? I have, I have four legs that are alive. Four legs that have leaders. Four separate legs that have leaders inside. Four separate legs. But then you'll be asking, if you have four 
legs that are active, why are you not yet financially free? I'm going to give you the next answer. I'm going to give you the next answer. So do we understand the recruiting with intention? Have four to five solid legs that have leaders. What do I mean by leaders? People who are doing the activity without supervision. People who are building, people who are recruiting, people who are running the business without supervision. You don't have to tell them what to do before they do it. You don't have to push them before they get to work. Is somebody getting what is going on here? Are you following? If you're following, type following, type following, type following. If you're following, type following. Type following if you're following. Now, that's the third step, which is the final step I'm going to talk about tonight, is build debt before wheat. Hmm. You want to build a solid team. Build debt before wheat. What it means is this. Let me use an illustration. Let's say you have one account in the business. You upgraded to three accounts, for instance. Let's say minimum. I'm going to use minimum of three accounts you have. And then you recruited your four. Remember, you recruited your four. Your four are here. Guess what is happening? These are the four legs that you have, the four active legs. Now, these four persons at this top level. Now, please pay attention. For you to say you have built a leg, what it means is this. For you to say you have a leg, the first level is that you look at that leg and there is somebody at the top of that leg that is active, that is doing the activities without you supervising the person. Are you following? Now, let me give you a typical example. When I started my business, I signed up my elder brother, the one that senior architect Moses. He signed up under my team. I started working with him, started working with him, started working with him. He was doing well in the business. He was making money, making six figures, earning from the business. He was doing, he was doing well. But he was not full-time. Later, he became full-time. Later, he went part-time. Later, he quit the business. Later, he's not building. Now, that means he, who is my direct, is no longer active. There were some persons under him who were building the business, building the business, building the business. They were very active. Now, at that initial state, when he was active, they were also active. Guess what? So at that point, he was my first level. I considered him as my first level. Follow. He was active. Now, over time, he stopped being active. The persons following him stopped being active. But the persons under, the persons under him, that is, let me give you an example now. Chidi, um, David O.G., Pastor Sam Villa. Under Pastor Sam Villa, uh, what's this boy's name again? Yeah. Eh? Hillary, God bless you. Hillary, that's five legs, Abby. Five legs. Then under the Hillary, uh, Mrs. Umunas, husband, upline. How many levels now? Six. Mrs. Umunas, husband. Then Mrs. Umuna, seventh leg, Mrs. Ijoma. Now, the seventh level is where Mrs. Ijoma was produced. Are you seeing what is going on now? So as for me now, if I am counting my first level, Mrs. Ijoma is the first level in this case, of active person. Do you understand? That's, she is active. Is somebody following me? Somebody following me. If you're understanding, please type understanding. Type understanding. I need to be sure that you are following what is going on. So if I am going to count this leg, some of you will make the mistake and say, eh, my direct is that my brother. And then he has signed up somebody. And the person signed up somebody. Some of you, that's what you even do in your, in your 555 worksheets. That's why you have problem. 
That's why you are not you you are not seeing the problem in your business. So if I am going to fill my SMO my 555 worksheet, what I'm going to be filling at my first level here of active person is Mrs. C. Joma. Then under Mrs. C. Joma, please follow. Remember, if if you are following what I'm teaching you and you follow it well, goodness of heaven, you will build a solid business that will give you the financial freedom you are looking for. Remember what I said, you are building depth before you are building width. And the goal is to go three levels deep. That's the goal. In the depth you are going, it should be three levels deep. Now, so I just showed you the first level. Now, the first level is not the person I signed up. The first level is the level of the active person in that leg. Are you following me? Now, let me give you another one. Let me give you another one. Okay. Ella, the wealth creator, is under my business. When she signed up, she didn't sign up. She's not directly under me. Uh -uh. I had my cousin that signed up under me. Under my cousin, there is someone else that signed up there. Under that guy, that's where Ella the Wealth Creator came in. That's cousin, dead on arrival. His person, dead on arrival. Then she. So do you understand? So my second level is who? My next leg now is Ella the Wealth Creator, right? Good. The next leg, the only direct that I have, that's, he, he is my direct and he is still my direct and still active, is Ralph Ben Joshua, funny enough. So that one is direct here. He did, he, he did not replace himself. He did not go and die and then somebody replaced him. No, he's alive and still alive. Now that's what. Now, the fourth leg that is moving in my business is Engineer Peter's leg. Now, guess what? Engineer Peter was a support that came from my mastermind support, from my upline. I'm going to show you something that you will understand. This is the same. Uh, please follow me very carefully because what I'm about to teach you is the same principle my upline applied before he let go of my business. Ambassador Architect Moses, this thing I'm teaching you is what he, the formula he used when he was building his business. And this is the original template. I hope you know we are going back to Rebet. We are going into Rebet. It's Rebet season. It's Rebet. Rebet is ringing everywhere today. So we must go to the original template which our leaders used to build their business. If we get it right from the template, we will get it right in building solid businesses. Is somebody following me tonight? Now, before Engineer Peter arrived in my business, <laughs> I'm going to teach you something. When I come there, I will explain this. Now, follow me very carefully. Now, the Engineer Peter is not in the business anymore. But guess what? Somebody under somebody, under somebody, under somebody produced a Zulu Chingwe. A Zulu Chingwe is somebody under somebody under somebody under Peter. Are you guys following? <laughs> now, guess what? In this, in this place now, what I am counting is a Zulu Chingwe. So the four legs that I have that are moving in my business, which are productive, productive, active. We have Ezulu Chingwe, Ralph Ben, Ella the Wealth Creator, and Umu Naijoma. Are you following the four structures? Now, please, I need you to think well. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Now, do you know the crazy part? The crazy part is that Ezulu Chingwe's leg has produced three monthly millionaires already. That's, that's amazing. Now, guess what? 
I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Now watch this. A loose leg. Let me use an example now. Remember, it is three levels deep. Three levels deep. Now let's go to the next level. What three levels deep means, please pay attention. It's not that thing you people are doing in a 555 worksheet. That's not what I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you a structure that builds a solid team. What you're learning now is a structure that builds a solid team. It's not to fill a 555 worksheet. Uh, my person have signed up this person. Uh, him too, he have signed up this person. Uh, uh. That's not what we are talking about tonight. That's not what we are talking about tonight. We are talking about an active leg under your first line. So this next level is who is the next active leg under your first line? I have um, Mrs. Ezulu Chingwe as the first heavy level, right? As a strong active, as the active level. Now she has, she signed up, recruited someone who recruited Nebo Chibweze, right? And Nebo Chibweze recruited Ozo Florence. Now, Ezulu is active, Nebo Chibweze is active, Ozo Florence is also active. Can you, can you, are you see what is going on? Very good. Now, at this, that is the three levels deep we're talking about. So when you are building, you should build three levels deep. Three levels deep when you're building. Build three levels deep. Now, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? This is the reason why I don't have to be worried about her business. Why? Because she has built depth. Like, in that leg, I have built depth. That leg has received depth. Now, the moment, pay attention to this carefully. When my upline removed his hands from my business was when I became active, Engineer Peter became active, Ezulu became active. Did you notice? Did you see what happened? That was the day he said, Oya Solomon, take over your team. He left. He left my leg. He left my business. Like, he stopped being concerned about, no, not like he doesn't care. He's, he's my mentor. He's always my mentor. But that, that concern, that particular attention given to the team is no longer. So he can go and build another leg. He can now go to build width. Do you understand? Because he has built depth. So when do you know that you have built depth? When you have three active levels from the first level the next level and your third level if you understand what i just said type understood if you understood what i said type understood now so by the time you want to tell yourself ah i am done with this leg check this first and guess what once one person that used to be an active leg is no longer active, oh God, you have to go back home. Bros, you have to go back home. You have to go back home and fill up that space and make sure it is three. It has to be three levels deep. Depth, three active levels. Depth is three active levels. Do we understand that? Key. Do we understand that? Now, so if you are looking for a reason to go and build a new leg, make sure you have satisfied this. Now, you see the reason why some of us who are in this business, you are yet to have a stable income in your business. Have you seen the reason why you are yet to have a stable income in this business? Because you are yet to build a solid team. And this, 
is what you need to understand to build a solid team. Now, guys, it's been a great time. I'm very sure what you've learned today is going to really help you to know what it takes to build a solid team. I'm so excited to have shared this with you. All right. Make sure, make sure, make sure. You number one, you understand the business we do. Number two, you recruit with intention. Number three, you build, you build depth, build depth before going with it. Do you understand? Understand the business we do. Build, recruit in your business with intention. Recruit, recruit with intention. And, and build depth before going wide. Do you understand that? Very important. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's